Back on Hitting Hard with John Chuck Ray on Locked On Sports Atlanta. Head over to YouTube.com. Find our page there in your search browser, Locked On Sports Atlanta. Subscribe. Leave us a comment. Also free and available. Don't forget, download us on all of your favorite podcast platforms. You can listen anytime, anywhere. Spotify, Odyssey. Leave us a five-star review. And, of course, follow me on my personal Twitter page, at JMCH316. Well, the Braves won 12 in a row last night. And it was just an... an, an that whole game last night was ugly in so many ways. And it's good that the Braves won. He had a rain delay that delayed the game. You know, Dansby got plunked. And then, of course, Ozzy hits a ball, awkward swing, and fractures his foot last night. And going to be out probably at least a couple of months out of all of it. Just really sucked last night. That that whole That whole scene and scenario in Washington. And it seems like there's always crazy whacked out things that happen in Washington. First off, it always rains up there, but just weird things happen up in, up in Washington. I hate playing the nationals, but they're a dreadful, dreadful baseball team. So what does this mean now for the Atlanta Braves moving forward? How is life without Ozzy? Well, you know, look, you're not going to replace a switch hitting good defensive second baseman. That's got the kind of power that, that Ozzy has. And Ozzy's had a little bit of struggle this year. I mean, he's not been, He's not been his typical Ozzy self. I mean, he's got 15 doubles, eight homers, 33 RBI. Um, He's been caught stealing the most times in the National League, which has been crazy coming off a 20 steal season last year. He's already been caught five times, which is one more than he was caught in 156 games last year. 34 runs, only hitting 244. So he's down about 15 points year over year. On base is down. Slugging is down. uh, And his OPS is down. And it seemed like Ozzy is one of the guys that – really kind of had trouble finding his power stroke. And I don't know why that is. I mean, you know, I I know he's bounced around the lineup a little bit. He's hit up toward the second spot. He's hit in the middle of the order. He's hit down a little bit lower and things like that. But that's never really bothered bothered Ozzy before. You know, he's one of the most versatile guys in baseball as far as where you can hit him and things like that. So what's the plan now? You would have to guess that Arcia is going to be the guy that they're going to rely on a lot. He came in last night and I'm not telling you that's another great option. You know, we talked about yesterday that, you know, the the Braves have so many good quality bats and things like that. Well, now you have to use one of those bats, you know, that you were hoping just would be a bench guy. Now you got to use him probably as a starter. The Braves did pick up a Kramer Robertson. Now here's what we know about Kramer Robinson. Nothing. We don't know anything about Kramer Robinson. Um, He's played for the Cardinals He's a guy that they claimed off waivers, so he is a middle infielder. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, I, you know, I I know more about Kramer from Seinfeld than I know about Kramer Robertson. Okay, so we'll see what happens there. He's probably their most likely internal candidate. The other guy who is interesting for the Braves, and I don't think that they will make this move. But they do have Braden Shoemake down there in their minor league system, and he's playing at Gwinnett AAA. Now, I've talked about Brandon Shoemake before on my radio show because if the Braves are going to move on from Dansby Swanson, he is one of the guys that you would look at. He is in Gwinnett. He's one of their top three or four prospects. Now that Michael Harris is out, and by the way, Good for Michael Harris last night, hitting his first big league home run. How cool was all of that uh, last night? In a, in a game filled with a lot of nuttiness and bad things and craziness, Michael Harris hitting his first major league home run was you know, one of the, uh, the good things last night. But Braden Shoemake is one of those guys that is in their minor league system. I don't know how he profiles as far as shortstop in, at the major league level, but he's a guy that's moving up through their system. And you just saw that they brought up Michael Harris – would Shoemake be a guy that they bring up? I don't think so right now. He's not exactly tearing up AAA. He's not been terrible, but he's not exactly tearing up AAA, and I don't think that they want to rush him. I think they want to give him some time down in their minor league system because, look, if they don't sign Dansby Swanson, you got to start thinking about what's our next long-term plan at shortstop, and he might be one of those guys. I know some people really like him. Some people are not as high on him about what he can be at the major league level, but – he has got a lot of pub and he is one of their top four or five prospects, you know, three or four prospects in their minor league system right now. So I would expect Orlando Arcia and Kramer Robertson for whatever that does for you. That probably is the most likely thing. Now, the good news is Ozzy will be back. It is a fractured foot. I guess we'll get more on this today after we get all the diagnosis and they'll talk to Snit and we'll get more of an update and things like that. I'm sure double A will probably have a comment 
as well, but it just sucks. I mean, this is one of your obviously core pieces that you have in your offense. And along with Dansby, they're such a good keystone combo, right? Like they're such a good defensive twosome. You know, you think about, we always talk about in baseball, right? The old axiom, be good up the middle defensively, right? Be good up the middle. Well, Ozzy's a really good defensive second baseman. He's been arguably the last couple of years, maybe the best offensive second baseman in baseball. Are the Braves going to miss him enormously? I don't know. The Braves have caught in so much fire right now that I don't know that losing one guy. I mean, the, the one guy who would completely change up the dynamic of your team is Ronnie. If you lost Ronnie for an extended period of time, that would completely change up the dynamic of your team. That's the one guy they can't afford to lose. But Dansby's done a great job hitting in that two hole. I mean, he's flourished and I've always thought that that would be a good spot for Dansby. I always thought Ozzy and Dansby, you could hit either one of those guys in the two spot. Dansby showing a little bit of patience this year. So he's getting on base. So, you know, Ozzy and some of his struggles, you hate to see it. He is a good defensive second baseman. I don't know that Arcia or even Kramer Robertson is going to be an upgrade there defensively, but this is going to have to be kind of your life. And, you know, we've talked yesterday about the depth of the lineup and this, that, and the other. I don't think it's going to be so much that you feel like you can't make up offensively what Ozzy is because you got enough other guys. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, you got Contreras and I know some people are already talking about Contreras playing. Okay. Again, are we in beer league softball? Is, is this, is this Saturday afternoon? In the decade? Like I, I even got a text message last night from somebody, about, well, you know, maybe time to try Contreras at second. They've talked about one of the guys. Okay. So I'm going to trot out. I'm, I'm going to, who, who are we playing this week? The, the Lawrenceville rec league. Like, what are we doing here? Like, I don't want to monkey around at second base right now. That's You can monkey around at some positions in Major League Baseball, okay, as far as defensively and things like that. Third base, you can sort of monkey around. Look, Steve Garvey was a third baseman before he became a first baseman, and he was so awful at third base, they had to move him over to first. So you can monkey around with some bad defensive players in left field or this, any other. You don't want to monkey around with a guy who's not played second base regularly. You don't want to monkey around with that position. If you do that, you're going to be in real trouble. Like you're going to find yourself in real trouble in your middle infield. And that's not a place that you want to mess around with. Am I excited about Orlando Garcia or potentially a Kramer Robertson? Not really. And I don't think that Braden Shoemaker is a guy that they want to rush up. And, you know, that would be kind of interesting to see if they bring him up. Of course, I say that, you know, and I never thought that Michael Harris was going to come up from their minor league system without playing in AAA. But, Stranger things have happened out there. So life without Ozzy is not going to be fun. It's going to be a little bit tough. I don't think they're going to miss him so much offensively, but you're definitely going to miss that glove and that hole that you have at second base and just more speed on your team. That's, if nothing else, one of the elements that Ozzy always brings to the game is his speed. All right, we well, thank you so much for making Hitting Hard with John Chuckry your first listen. We ask you to make... Uh, our buddies Jarvis Davis and Tinnitus Batiste over at ATL Day One's your second listen. You can find them free and available on our YouTube page at Locked On Sports Atlanta and on all of your favorite podcast platforms, Spotify, Odyssey. Make sure you rate us and review us. Give us a five star review on the podcast. Give us a like and give us a comment on our YouTube page. And of course, you can follow me on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. Back with you tomorrow. This has been Hitting Hard with John Chuckery on Locked On Sports Atlanta. 